Hello my dear student, welcome back to the class. So you all know that we have started chapter 1 in the previous class and we have started self practice 1a also, isn't it? So we have done few questions from self practice 1a and I, and I hope you remember that I gave you home assignment to do that is number 2 CD and number 3 CD. <coughs> CD and number three CD isn't it so before starting so before going further in the next question let us solve this home assignment all right so this was your home assignment right to do so two CD and three CD so the first uh, number two question is the write the following numbers in expanded form you have to expand this compact form into the expanded form that means one stands hundred thousand it is in so write two thousand here plus zero you may write or you may write in a single digit zero uh, one stands it is three zero plus zero so this is the expanded form of two zero three zero next we have three four five seven here is we don't have such space so i'm solving here all right so three four five seven we will write one stands hundred thousand position so we will write three thousand plus four now next how many uh, digits are there? Two. So or one stands hundred. So four hundred plus five. After five, how many digits? One digit. So zero plus seven. We are going to expand in such a way, isn't it? So next question was write the compact numeral. That is, it is in the expanded form, and we have to write in the compact form in this form, compact form. All right. So if we write like this, uh, what I have told to write the last digit. That is in the ones digit, unit digit, and the first then 7 then 8 it is once tens hundred so 800 once tens it is 70 and once it is 2 so here is no space so I am solving here for this so once 1 6 8 9 you can write like this no? 9 8 6 1 it is once once position tens tens 6 that's for 60 for that's why it is in tens position 100 that's for 800 and it is in thousand position once tens hundred thousand so that is why 9000 so here so with this we are over with home assignment right so let us start solving for the problem so here we have the question number four so question number till question number three we are over I hope you have understood it so let us proceed to question number four so the question state that read the following numbers aloud do not shout aloudly okay uh, loud and then write them in a numeral so this type of a problem we are doing from a uh, three four uh, three two three right so four you are in right now four four only so you have to write this uh, following numbers uh, write them you have to write in the number right so this is given in the word form and you have to write in the numeral form so the first question is 3512 so 3000 no so 3 is in which position 1000 position so once tens hundred thousand so 3 should be in thousand position and 500 means 100 in hundred position 5 is there so 5 and remaining is 12 so write like this 1 to 12 okay so this is the simplest form so this is the simplest question we have similarly we have next question 4080 4000 that means 4 is in 1000 position ok 1 stands 100 thousand so 4 is in 1000 position sorry 4 is in 1000 position 4080 means there is no 100 place so in 100 place 0 will be there and 80 no so it stands and uh, once position 8 and 0 will be there 80 means 80 right so you cannot write 480 most of the student make this mistake right they write 480 if such is the condition then over here it has been stated that 4 is in 1000 position but here 1 stands 100 so 4 is in 100 so that will be incorrect all right so this is the correct form so next question similar we have uh, number C also 6006 so <coughs> Let me make the um, notation first. One stands hundred thousand. So I'm writing the answer here. Six thousand, no. So thousand is a six is in thousand position and six. That is two zero we have and six, because at the last whatever is the number that will be in the 
one's position or the unit position like 12 is 1 2 2 will be in the uh, one's position or unit position 80 0 will be in the one's position similarly 6 here it is only 6 unit single uh, digit is there that's why it is in unit position or one's position after uh, uh, so presiding that you have 0 double 0 that will be in 110 position and most of the student make this mistake also they write 6 6 most of the student does that also do not do that if you count it if you t uh, count this notation it will be once tens so tens it is then it should be 66 this how to write 60 it should be 66 so, but according to 6006 it is not matching with this so it is incorrect okay so next question we have question number five write the following numbers in words now you have to expand this in word like in this manner we have to write so you all know first of all we have to uh, <clears throat> place them in a notation voice first of all we will start with ones do not start with thousand we will start with ones tens hundred then thousand so six is in which position thousand so it is it is six thousand six thousand and hundred and tens have zero so we will not count we will not say zero zero nine we will directly write six thousand nine so this is the way to write in write the numbers in word okay similarly we have ones tens hundred thousand so three is in thousand position we will write so we the actual rules of writing is how first of all we will look whenever you are writing in words then you will see this number first the last one if it is more than thousand if suppose one, one stands hundred thousand ten thousand the other if you have another number then you may have right uh, ten thousand similarly you will go uh, further but whatever the last number you have okay so that we will from there we will start so here we have three so we will write three thousand now next what do we have hundred hundred uh, in 100 position 8 is there so we will write 8 100 what is the next 7 and 1 is also there so we will write 70 because it is in tens position so 71 isn't it 3871 this is the way or this is the rules to write in write the numbers in word all right so our next question we have question number 6 write the greatest and the smallest number of four digits so before starting this before writing the answer or giving you the answer i just want to show you something regarding this greatest and the smallest uh, digit number all right so let us study first of all that so here we will learn about the smallest one digit number two digit number three digit number similarly greatest one digit two digit, two digit three digit that we are going to learn over here okay smallest one digit number is is one so greatest one digit number is nine right we cannot write zero okay zero is not the smallest digit and if you want to write for smallest two digit number then you write one first and add one zero so that it will make two digit number now you will add zero okay not in the front zero so greatest two digit number add one more nine 99 is your two digit greatest number similarly three digit is your one first and add two zero it will make three one two three digit similarly three digit so one more nine add okay four digit one one two three it will make four digit Similarly, for your four digit, nine 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 thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Similarly, five uh, smallest five digit number is your one one two three four. So this makes five digit smallest number. Similarly, five digit greatest number. If you have to write one two three four five nine should be there. Ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine is your greatest number, and it will go on like this continuous it will be followed so from here we can also learn that when whenever you add one to the greatest number you are going to get the next smallest digit number likewise 99 plus 100 999 plus 1 like this you are going to get the 
and smallest greatest number whenever you add one to the greatest number. All right. So with the help of this, now we are going to solve the question number six. Okay. Question number six was to write the greatest and the smallest number of four digit, four digit. Right. The smallest four digit is first one. Then how many zero? Three zero. That makes one two three four digit. Similarly, greatest four digit number. How many four nines should be there? Four nine. So this may, this with this we are over with question number six also. So if somebody ask you to uh, tell the uh, greatest three digit greatest three digit number, then nine 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 should be the answer. This will be greatest three digit number because one two three digits are there. So you will follow the rules. Okay. So next question we have question number seven. Fill in the blanks with the correct sign greater than smaller. Or equal to sign. So you have to compare this number. Which one is greater? Which one is smaller? If the numbers are equal, then you will put the equal to sign. Okay. So of in the first question, number A, three thousand six hundred and thirty-two, three thousand six hundred and thirty-two. So over here, both looks the same. That's why we are going to put the equal to sign because both the numbers are equal. Okay. So our number A is over. Number B three thousand seven hundred and ninety two. We have to compare the between number three thousand seven hundred ninety two and three thousand nine hundred and seventy two. So our for our a <coughs> thousand position. If we look into, then both the numbers are equal three three. Both the numbers are three thousand. If you uh, write this in a word, we are going to say three thousand seven hundred and ninety two. And it is three thousand nine hundred and seventy-two. So in thousand position, both the numbers are equal three three. So from here we cannot predict. So we have to go for the next number that is one stands hundred position. Which what number is this? In hundred position over here it is seven, and over here it is nine. So which number is greater? It is nine. Seven is greater than nine, right? Sorry, nine is greater than seven. So we can say this one is greater, so we can put this sign over here because three thousand nine hundred and seventy-two is greater than three thousand seven hundred and ninety-two, or three thousand seven hundred and ninety-two is less than three thousand nine hundred and seventy-two. This means that okay. So this apply. This is applied if the number, if both the, if on both the side they are having a same digit of number. Say one, two, three, four digits are there. One, two, three, four. Only on that condition. We can compare the uh, compare on such a manner. All right. So let us proceed to question number six. First of all, look how many digits are there? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So for this, we can apply the previous one concept. Mm -hmm. So for uh, write one notation first. One stands hundred thousand. It is in thousand position. One. Both the number are equal. So one one. We cannot compare now. So move on to the next digit. On which position it is? One stands hundred position. It is an integer in hundred. So in between, when you compare this one uh, and zero, which one is greater? One is zero. So we can write that this. We can say that one thousand one hundred and one is greater than one thousand eleven. Why? Because in hundred position we have one, and in this con in this number we have hundred in hundred position it is zero. So in between one and zero, which one is greater? One is greater. So That is why this number C is greater. All right. So number C, number D, and number E. You will try to do it yourself. This will be a home assignment. Okay. It is very very easy. You will try to do it yourself. Okay. Student, here we have the next question. That is question number eight. Form the largest and the smallest number using each of the given digits only once. So using this number. You have to find. You have to form. Uh, you have to create yourself a smallest number and the largest number. Okay, so to do this, it is the most easiest one. For smallest number, from here you have to see which one is the smallest number in between this five, three, two, six. Which one is the? This is the first one. Second is this. Third and fourth. So our number will be two. Uh, sorry, one, two, uh, and five, six. Right. So this will be the smallest number from here. And the largest number, which one is the largest? Is six first, then five, then three, then two. Six thousand five hundred and thirty-two will be the largest number. Likewise, 
to uh, to get get the smallest number from this number we have to uh, write the smallest number so our what is this which one is the smallest number from here so 3 is the smallest number after that uh, 6 after that 7 and 8 3678 is the smallest number we can create or we can from from this number given digit so to get the largest number so from this number only we have to get the largest number also so what is this greatest number here 8 is the greatest number then 7 is the greatest then after that 3 so from this number 8763 is the largest number okay so with this we are over with question number 8 also it was easy right so the next question question number 5 write the following numbers in ascending order you have to write this number in ascending form i hope you can do it yourself right so this will be a home assignment try to do it yourself okay this will be a home assignment okay see you in the next class till then stay safe and healthy and do your home assignment okay thank you everyone